Good morning. Sitting here editing a video for you. Nothing much has been going on here at Quartzsite La Posa South the last few days. We have fun. We're enjoying life. We cook. We eat. We sit by the campfire. We tell stories. We play cards. And life is good. Uh... A couple of days ago, Ron and I took a drive out into the Arizona desert. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, Ron and I decided to take a ride. We're a couple of, maybe three miles from camp and we've gone past the sign that says no overnight camping and we're headed out into the hinterlands. Is that what you call them? Yes. That's what, they, what do they call them in Iowa? Hinterlands. <laughs> hinterlands. Oh, okay. The boonies. The boonies. Except for in Iowa instead of having saguaro cactus you'd be having cornfields. Corn cornfields, <laughs> right. Should we sing our song about Iowa? I don't know. I, you don't know the song? I've heard you sing it, but I didn't memorize it. Oh, wait, I'll turn the camera around so you can see me sing. Oh, I don't give a darn for the whole state of Iowa, the whole state of Iowa, for who in the heck likes corn? <laughs> Do you know a song about South Dakota? No, I don't. Good. <laughs> At the dust behind. You didn't go fast enough so we could say we. Uh, I can. You're gonna say we ow when you hit the ceiling. I know. <laughs> We decided to get out of the car and let our butts rest. Identify some plants for you. That would be choyo, a cactus. This would be creosote. Creosote has little yellow flowers. And I'm surprised that there are blooms this time of year. What do you got over there, Ron? So here's a here's an octillo. Octillo. Oh, where I live, they call this Mexican barbed wire. Or devil's barbed wire. Devil's barbed wire. And over there is a saguaro. And. bushes back over there are Palo Verde. Palo Verde means green stick and the bark is green on a Palo Verde. Sometimes in car shows you see guys drive up on two wheels so that their car is just balanced uh, sideways. We decided to try that and it's working really well. We're only hitting half as many rocks. Oops, so hold on, Ron. Whee! <laughs> well, we're back towards camp, and it's the 12th day of the government shutdown. Guess what's not happening? I'm going to write a letter to Washington today and thank him for the free camping because here in La Posa South, there's no way to pay. Van Carolyn, should we get her PIN number? Stop that, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I took another ride in the desert yesterday. I didn't intend to take a ride in the desert, but I decided that I was going to go to this little town that's supposed to be five miles from here. It's called La Paz Valley. And I wound up going nine miles on a dirt road in the desert called Pipeline Road. And it's just a service road for an underground pipeline. And boy, it was four-wheeling. It was so much four-wheeling that uh, I tore the tailpipe off of my manifold and my car was making a roaring sound by the time I got back. So that's what I did yesterday afternoon. I fixed the exhaust system on my Suzuki. Anyway, I'm not going to take you through nine miles of desert, but here's a couple of shots of what I found out there. So I'm thinking I'm going to this little town called La Paz Valley, Arizona. Population 699, but <laughs> I'm on this road that can't possibly be where 699 people live. I've been on this road for maybe two miles, and it looks like I got a couple of miles to go, so I'm either taking the long way around or this is just the dead end up here, but I see lots of uh, BLM camping, so I'm going to check it out. In the meantime, I'm exercising my four-wheel drive. Oh, here's a road. A better road. A graded road. Where do you suppose that goes? Hmm. It's not a fork in the road. It's a crossroad. Let's go see what that sign says. The sign says 14 day camping limit. No cutting or gathering firewood. Well, that looks like a much better road. Maybe I'm going to go home that way. Or we'll have another adventure. There's these high pressure gas signs all over the place out here. High pressure gas line signs. Well, I'm obviously following a trail where the sand rails go. This is not uh, all kinds of sand rail tracks both directions and all the washes. I'm getting close to houses over there. I still haven't seen a road to get over to the town. Well, this looks promising. Pavement and a stop sign. <coughs> a street sign. <laughs> well, it turns out that I have taken the back road to nowhere. <laughs> oh, check out the donkey. Uh, I don't know where I am. Google Maps knows where I am, but I don't know where I am. Turn right onto Diamond Place, then turn right onto Emerald Avenue. Well, here's something you don't see every day. This is the end of Diamond Avenue. I think that is probably the 20th street I've gone past. What you're looking at in the distance out there is La Posa South, south of Quartzsite. So Quartzsite is over behind those hills. Well, let's see what's around the corner. Continue on Rainbow Way for three quarters of a mile. So, in three quarters of a mile, it put me back on Pipeline Road. Nine miles 
of dirt road and 30 minutes later. Oh, there's a good sign. I see utility poles. <laughs> I turned off the highway on what I thought was La Paz Valley Road, which turns out to be a paved road with yellow lines in the middle of it. There really is a town out here of 699 people, and it's nowhere near the place I went to, which is way over there. Looks mostly like a town full of RVs. There's some permanent houses. And it sounds like my exhaust manifold is coming off. Either that or I lost my muffler. It sounds like it's under the hood. I'll need to stop up here and see what's going on with that. And all these side streets with just RVs, La Paz Valley RV Park. Hmm. Well, there's a permanent structure. But I'm looking for downtown. Probably I'll stop here somewhere and, oh, dead end. Hmm. Stop here somewhere and see if uh, anybody knows where the Walmart is. Yeah, you hear my engine? It's starting to sound like Seth. There's the tractor dealership. Diddle Works Auto Repair. Good to know. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.